All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. The filthiest of the filthy. This is your boy Brian, aka El Nino, and today I'm joined with Blonde with a drink. <laughs> aka Haley. She is one of the newest members of Zero Dark Nerdy. She's been on the, the Instagram game for quite some time now, shouting out local bars, restaurants, and reviewing some of her favorite beers out there. So we're going to be talking about some of our favorite beverages. We actually have a couple Trulies here that we're going to enjoy. But before we get into that, you know, just kind of tell the audience, A, how they can find you on social media, and just kind of B, how the whole Blonde with a Drink came about. Okay, so you can fo follow me on at Blonde with a Drink on Instagram. I don't do Facebook, but, you know, follow me on Instagram. And it came about because of quarantine, mm. and I did really good. The first part of quarantine, I was like, running like how much water can i drink in a day mm -hmm. like you know feeling really healthy yeah and then i went to visit my cousins in florida and just like one thing led to another and then like all of my posts on my like personal page just really turned into me drinking and i was like wait a second why don't i take this opportunity and turn it into something and so i was sitting at a bar actually in savannah georgia i was okay. on vacation and i was like Blonde with a drink. Well, actually, it started as Haley with a drink. But okay. Very lame, very lame. <laughs> and so <laughs> the alcohol kept, you know, drinks kept coming. And next thing I know, it was Blonde with a drink. And here we are. There it is. Almost a year in. Next month, it'll be a year. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so. So, got it. so one thing that we could thank for quarantine and COVID is the birth or whatever you want to call it of <laughs> Blonde with a drink. The, yeah, yeah. So a little backstory here. Uh, uh, Haley and I have a ton of mutual friends. It's Greensboro. There's there's zero degrees of separation. I bartended for 15 years. Uh, she bartends part time here and there. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I saw these awesome posts of, of, from her about just kind of places that she was shouting out, drinks she was having, and I was like, you know, we we really need like a beer aficionado on the show and just someone that's just dope as hell. So uh, she ended up meeting me one day at at trivia night before I was getting ready to kick off and. We just hit it off and been friends ever since. We hung out last time, what was uh, the Flathers last night at Stumbles. Talk about a good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From what I can so, remember, it was so, great. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> so, uh, you know, in regards to some of your favorite local establishments, whether here or in the, just the triad in general, what are some places that you, you know, the A, you can be found at or that you just really enjoy? And, and who has, you know, great drink specials? Who has great brunches? Like, what are some of your, like, top five for those, uh, you know, our fans out there, either that mm -hmm. live in Greensboro or if you're going to visit Greensboro, you know, definitely listen up to this part. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like you can definitely always find me at Stumbles. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stumbles. I love the atmosphere, the people there. Everyone's so nice and they have the best mac and cheese bites. Mm -hmm. um, so here for that. I love to go to 113 because okay. I love their like take on live music. Mm -hmm. I love that. It gives me like Nashville vibes. Yeah, it really does. It so really does. They cleaned I, it up super nice. Oh, so. it's amazing. Yeah. And so I like it there. I love to go there. Um, let's see. Where else do I frequent? Hmm. For brunch. Mm -hmm. Let's skip to brunch. Um, <laughs> go right I'm, th to brunch. I'm thinking about food. Um, Rascals. Rascals okay. Tavern. Okay. Probably my favorite, and they do bottomless mimosas. Mm. So can't beat that. Gets me in trouble, but great place. Nice. Um, Melt. Okay. Melt okay. also has bottomless mimosas. Yes, they do. And Love. big shout out to the Melt crew. They uh, they support trivia a lot of our trivia nights. So shout out to the Melt crew out there. Oh, yeah, and their duck fat fries. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I don't think I've had those yet. Recommend them. Nice. Highly recommend them. Um, those are like probably like my favorite places. Oh, well, Sage Mule. Okay. Okay. Have you done Sage Mule? I actually have not been to Sage Mule yet. Oh, you've got, you have got to go. Okay. But also expect to have a wait if you go. All right. Okay. Because it's that popping. And then uh, I think I've seen a couple posts from, uh, uh, from you being at our good friends over at Four Saints out in Ashboro. Yes. Big shout out to Four Joel. Four Saints. Um, yeah, Joel is amazing and Four Saints beer is phenomenal. And if you have a chance to go out there. Yeah. Take yeah, it. by far. Take it. it. Asheboro, North Carolina, mm -hmm. be sure to check it out. Good friends of ours. We did a, a few trivia nights when we first start, uh, started out, and uh, we're looking to do some more. I'm actually uh, having a phone conversation with Joel tomorrow. So no way. I'll definitely bring you. And yes. uh, that, so that's another thing to look forward to is uh, Haley brought this great uh, uh, you know concept of doing more live streams from these local establishments. Mm -hmm. 
trying out the food, trying out some of their drinks. So we've been wanting to do more live videos and just videos in general. So she's going to definitely kind of spearhead that for us. So you'll be seeing us at a lot of these local places. Yeah, I love that. And going out, going back to Four Saints will be really great too. And yeah. having their beer. Oh, for sure. So what do we what do we got here? So you brought like a little yes. kind of mix pack over here. So which one do you have right now? Okay, so I have the berry, truly, the berry mm -hmm. punch. I've had the citrus, or no, the tropical. Tell okay. us about yours. Okay. So introduce yours. So this one is the truly tropical punch. I'm going to try to Vanna White this bad boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'll be, this will be the picture for the, the cover of the photo right here. <laughs> so this is... These are Truly's latest okay. like release. Okay. They just came out with the trop with the punch like within like the past couple weeks. And so these are the latest. Wow, that's They're good. sweet. I just it tastes yeah. like summer in a can. It does. It's not it really does. It tastes like, like I feel like I'm on vacation right now. And, and you know, my parents are not big drinkers, mm -hmm. but I can see my parents really, really liking this because my dad despises the taste of beer. But something like this I think I can actually maybe talk them into. Yeah. I think that these I really like them. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, remember the Fruit by the Foot? Oh, yeah. This yeah. kind of reminds me of the Berry Fruit by the Fruit. By the fruit foot. by the Foot in a can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this, uh, yeah, this Tropical Punch is fantastic. And again, for those of you out there that are not on the Truly train, I mean, what you know, you looking on? at, yeah, what, A, what are you waiting on? I mean, don't get me wrong. We've done episodes before in the past, and I was not a fan in the beginning, only only because, especially soda, like uh, like soda water. Uh, kind of gives me indigestion. Okay, yeah. So I had to get used to it. And then after a while, uh, a big shout out to Ashley. She would get them. And then I'm like, these really aren't that bad. They're really not. <laughs> They're really not. They're like, you know, sitting by the pool, mm -hmm. sitting at the lake, mm -hmm. on the beach, wherever you might be. Yep. Floating on the river. Yep. Definitely working on my summer bod. I got about a month left. <laughs> so, it is summer. Summer is here. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like 85 today here in North Carolina. It's so is here. no, I definitely, uh, definitely zero dark nerdy approved. Like the tropical punch. Uh, you know, what other flavors does truly have out as far as like their new kind of batch? So if you didn't know this, which I recently learned, the truly lemonades, mm -hmm. they came out with a watermelon lemonade. Okay. But they're getting rid of the black cherry lemonade. Okay. I'm a little bummed about it. Yeah. Just because I like the black cherry lemonade. Sure. But um, I the problem is I haven't been able to find it yet. Oh, okay. And I really want to try the watermelon lemonade. It sounds like it's going to be delicious. Yeah. But um, haven't done it. Haven't come across it. Okay. Just yet. So I'm, I'm trying. And then they released, they have the wild berry, which mm. is, well, that one's been out for like a year now, but it's new. And I feel like it's definitely like the most popular. Like if you're going to go to a bar or a restaurant and you're like, can I get a truly? Nine mm. times out of 10, that's what they have. Gotcha. Or the lemonades. Okay. And the lemonades are definitely very sweet okay so you gotta you gotta like sweet yeah to yeah i mean don't get me wrong this one's sweet but it does mm -hmm. taste like summer in a bottle though right here i mean and have you ever tried i know that there's been a lot of mimosa kind of mixes as of like the last few years i did mm -hmm. one where it was like the uh, kettle one botanicals uh i forgot what flavor it was but with champagne with oj which is really good like are there any mimosa variations that you're really into or are you just old school straight up mimosa you know usually when it comes down to mimosas it's like champagne mm. maybe a little splash of <laughs> my kind of girl right here there you go i mean no you don't want to mess up the champagne no right no you know yeah, you could definitely take it easy on the oj absolutely or i like to do it with like pineapple juice or cranberry mm. um you know, there you keep go. it keep it interesting. Perfect. I feel like we should do a brunch episode. Oh, definitely, definitely. So that's a very good segue. So if you're <laughs> you're listening, if you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook, all that fun stuff, and you want to have your bar restaurant, especially if you're here in the uh, Triad area or Gate City area, uh, you know, pretty much anywhere here around here in Guilford County. In Winston. Winston has a lot of spots. Yes. Big shout out to Winston-Salem out there as well, too. They do have a lot of spots. So, again, if you're a bartender, bar owner, bar patron, and you want to see your, your establishment featured on uh, Zero Dark Thirsty, I think yes. is something that we talked about. Zero Dark Thirsty. I love Zero Dark Thirsty. There you go. I got to make those shirts now, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We'll have to come up with a cool logo for it. <laughs> oh, I, I already have ideas. Oh, I love it. Like, I love can't it. wait. See, go get her over here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, let us know. We, we would love to uh, check out your place. Definitely do a live stream from there. Promote the food, promote the drinks. Mm -hmm. 
and go from there. So again, one more time, where can everybody find you at on social media? At Blonde with a Drink on Instagram. There you go, on Instagram. So again, for those of you listening, we definitely appreciate your patronage. Be sure to check out our website, popculturepodcast.com. Courtesy of our good friends over at Zipster, that is Z-I-B-S-T-E-R, doing phenomenal websites and SEO services for literally like dirt cheap prices. As always, big thank you to Attorney Newman, Andrew Newman, attorney at law, keeping all of us out of jail. He is going to take care of your civil, criminal, and traffic court needs in Guilford County and all surrounding areas. You can find him at attorneynewman.com. Again, big thank you to Haley. Get some air horns in there. Uh, you'll be seeing her more often, that's for sure. So the newest member of Zero Dark Nerdy, a.k.a. Zero Dark Thirsty, and we will catch you next time. Cheers. Peace. Yes. Yeah. Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.